welcome to the screencast tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to install VSFTPD on your CentOS 6 uh, configuration. Um, we're going to be doing this on a basic VPS from CarrotNetworks.com. Um, they're starting at only $15 a month. The first thing we need to do is log into SSH using PuTTY. After logging in, we're going to be uh, typing in yum install vsftpd. Said to us, we'll search the mirrors for vsftpd and prompt you whether or not it's okay to install the software. You're going to type Y for yes and hit enter. Uh, the software is going to be now installed. Uh, now we're going to go to the configuration file, which is in CD, etc. vsftpd. And you're going to nano the vsftpd.config file which is located in this folder. Inside this folder, we'd recommend making a few changes in the configuration. One of them is the anonymous enable. Uh, this enables anonymous FFTP. For security purposes, I highly recommend uh, setting this to no. Uh, the next thing that you want to make sure uh, local enable is enabled. This will allow local users to log into the FTP. Uh, the next thing is your X for lock. Uh, make sure that it's enabled. Um, this will allow you to uh, view your logs and it'll, they'll be written to var log extra log. Uh, this is a great way of logging your uh, FTP and that's enabled by default. Next, after you've made these changes, you're going to want to uh, restart VSFTPD. As, I, as you can see, it was already shut down, so we started it up. The next step is to test your VSFTPD installation by adding a user to your Linux system. You can do this by typing user add and uh, a username. That created the user called username. Now you want to set a password for username by typing passwd username, setting a password. Now that you've uh, updated the password, we can go ahead and open up a local FTP client and give this a test. So first of all, you're going to want your public IP of your Linux system, which in this case is 74.82.193.196. We're going to open up FileZilla. Use the username, username, and use the password that we created on port 21, which is the default FTP port. And as you can see, the user, username, username has, uh, has a folder created in the home directory. Now another common question asked by many people that are viewing this tutorial is uh, how do we limit the user to only his directory path? As you can see, he has access to home and slash. Common question uh, most people have when installing an FTPD server is how do we uh, lock the users into their home directory? By default, uh, the directory is open when they can access slash home and slash and the whole file system on the Linux uh, machine. Um, so what you do is you log back into etc. VSFTPD. You uh, nano your VSFTPD.conf file. What you're going to look for is the CH root uh, options down here. Uh, you're going to want to uncomment the CH root local user equals yes and CH root lo list enable, uh, which should be set to no. You're going to save your configuration files exit out of uh, nano and uh, simply restart VSFTPD uh, for us to uh, lock the user. We could test this by opening FileZilla, uh, typing in the IP address. Username is the username and voila, done. So now the user is being limited by his home directory. He cannot leave the jailed environment he can create files or delete them. This concludes our video tutorial on VSFTPD. Um, if you need assistance with any uh, LAMP installations, please be sure to check out our uh, prior videos on the channel. Uh, make sure, as always, to like and subscribe to the channel. And we look forward to speaking to you again. Take care. Bye-bye.